Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Tom Mustin with the latest from Denver 7. The FBI has reached out to the Boulder woman who has accused Brett Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct. Deborah Ramirez went to Yale with a Supreme Court nominee. She told The New Yorker last weekend he exposed himself to her when they were at a party in the 1980s. The request to interview Ramirez comes as the agency investigates Dr. Christine Blasey Ford's allegations against Kavanaugh as well. Officials near the Colorado-Wyoming border are confirming the Ryan fire is human caused. That fire started two weeks ago near Walden. It is still under investigation. A red flag warning was in effect earlier today because wind gusts reached up to 35 miles an hour there. Some good news from the Colorado Springs Police Department. Officer Jem Dizel is up and walking. He was shot while on duty back in August. The department shared these pictures with us, also showing how many birthday cards and gifts were sent to him from across the country. Officer Dizel is currently recovering at Craig Hospital in Inglewood. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here's Katie LaSalle with a check on your forecast. Take hey, Kate. Hi, everyone. It's been a warm Saturday, partly to mostly cloudy skies, clearing overnight tonight with temperatures dropping down to the upper 40s to low 50s. So not quite as chilly early tomorrow morning as what we experienced today. Plenty more sunshine for our Sunday and high temperatures feeling very pleasant in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. We'll stay warm, dry into Monday. Great for Monday night football. We'll see highs in the low 80s. Better chance for a couple of showers rolling in Tuesday into Wednesday. Temperatures will drop down to the 70s and upper 60s, low 70s to round out this next week, Tom. Looking great. Thank you, Katie. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Tom Mustin. Have a great day.